I'm going to go over um, hyphenation and columns and this is having the report for document open and I'm just going to quickly go over some of these things. One of the instructions was to turn on automatic hyphenation and to do that make sure you are in the page layout tab and you go to hyphenation, click on that and choose automatic and you can see that it has already put hyphenation in um, just be aware that when you do uh, use automatic hyphenation that it doesn't always make a correct choice but it does a fairly decent job of doing it okay so one of the other things in item 4 it said to select the second paragraph and create two columns. One is 2.5 inches wide, the other is 3 inches wide. So I'm going to select this paragraph by clicking three times in the second paragraph. So one, two, three. That's the quickest way to do it, or one of the quickest ways to do it. Also being in the page layout tab, on this one we're going to click on columns and when we make some that are not equal, you need to go to more columns. And then since it's two columns, we'll click on that. And column one was 2.5, so I'm going to come down and just delete the seven. And then click in the second one. First of all, also, we need to take this equal column width off by clicking there. And then I can go to the second one and type in 3.0 or just a 3. Okay? So as I click back and forth now, it's going to have one half inch in between. The first column will be 2.5 inches wide. The second one will be 3. So remember that you do have to deselect where it says equal column width in order to um, make them differing widths. So I'm going to click OK on that. Then it says to single space the columns. Since they're still selected, I can just hold the control key down and hit one on the top row, and that will put me into single spacing. Now I want to leave one blank line between what I have selected and the line that says focus and balance. So if I click at the beginning of the focus and balance paragraph, I'm going to single space this just for a moment. I'm going to go control one. I'm going to hit enter and then I'm going to go control two which will put it back in double spacing. And that's about the only way to do this without going into um, points before or after a paragraph. Also it says to turn off hyphenation for the second paragraph. So if we do have hyphenation issues and we want to turn them off, <coughs> if you go into a paragraph and then go to up here to the paragraph launch button, go to line and page breaks, and say don't hyphenate, and OK. <coughs> Excuse me, that would turn that off. The next one is to take the paragraph under choosing paperweight. So I'm going to find that one. I'm going to scroll down to choosing paperweight. I'm going to click there. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to take that and divide it into three columns and single space the text. So I'm just going to click three times. <coughs> this time they're equal, so I can just go into columns and choose three. And it says to single space them, so I'm going to go control one. Now it wants to break the way it's showing here, but if I want to start a particular word at the top of the next column, I can click, in this case, in front of the word in and go to break. 
and choose column break. And then I'll go to the next word that I want to make the beginning of the third column and do the same thing. Break, column break. <coughs> and there you go. And as I look at this now, another instruction says to make the bulleted paragraphs at the end of the document two equal columns. So I'm going to select the bulleted items. Probably just go into the text here. Select them. Go into columns and choose two. Now notice that there's an extra paragraph down here that has a bullet by it. So on this one you can just go in to home and to bullets on this down arrow and choose, let's see if we can get none, and that'll make that go away. And then it says to go back into one column. And so to go back into one column, I'm, um, I'm already there. Because if you notice by looking at the ruler bar, that it goes from zero to six inches. If this does not happen, if you get where you want to be, just go back into page and columns and choose one and that'll put you back in one column. <coughs> and that concludes this exercise.